Hello, hello, hello to all of my amazing Pisces. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Pisces, hello to all of you gods and goddesses out there in Pisces land. Yes, Pisces, we're going to get right into your reading. We have six planets that are currently retrograde, which is driving a lot of people bonkers. But not you, Pisces, not you, not you, not you, because... We're going to keep you straight. We're going to keep you aligned during all of the craziness that could be going on around you. So let's get into it. And we're less than 10 days away from the next new moon. So you got to start thinking about what you want your new uh, ascension to look like. What frequency do you want to be on, right? Yes. So let's go. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my amazing Pisces, gods and goddesses, as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions. And spirituality and where they need to take action. I am talking to my empaths. That would be you, who are also very artistic, emotional, selfless, natural healers. Also very wise, gentle, intuitive, compassionate. In a lot of cases, very musical, right? That's how your messages are coming through. Yeah, that sound. Yeah. It's frequencies. What information do we have for my amazing two fishies? <laughs> Tied together, swimming in opposite directions. Yes. The best of both worlds. All right, Pisces. Let's do this thing. Let's do it. Let's do it, do it, do it. Pisces. Last sign in the zodiac. Absorbing energy everywhere you go. Got to be very careful about what energies you're absorbing, right? Yeah. And also make sure you're not... Rooting for underdogs who are there to set you up and take advantage of you, Pisces. All right, here we go. Four of Wands. I see somebody celebrating outside of a house or a structure. Somebody could somebody could be leaving you some property, Pisces. We also have the Ace of Wands. I see your um your your fire and your your brow chakra has been activated. Right, that third eye has popped wide open, and you have this childlike exuberance, which is great. Right, like you throwing up the baton, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. We also have the Ace of Cups. Your big old heart, big old, big old, big old heart. Now here, let's slow it down for a second, Pisces. I really want to talk to y'all about this big heart that you have. I don't want you to lose this big heart because, like I said in the beginning, before I even started, you know, while I was shuffling the cards before I even saw what was going to come out. I don't want you to lose this heart because this will cause you to be distracted from the energy of money. <clears throat> Excuse me. We know that money is a resource. Um, but it's not the source. It, matter of fact, in fact, if we didn't have debt, there would be no money. There'd be no need for money. It's just used for exchange, right? Goods and demands, um, goods and services, right? So you have a huge heart, energy, energy, energy. You love deep. You love hard. Like I said, you're always rooting for the underdog, right? Don't let that be the thing that allows certain energies to attach itself to you. And those energies can come in any form. It can come in a form of parents. It can come in a form of children. Oh, I'm sorry, your children to my adult children. It can come in the form of colleagues. It can come in the form of friends. It can come in the form of strangers, whomever. Remember, you all are absorbing energy from everywhere. So don't let the distractions that's caused by people who operate in fear, that's the demonic side of ourselves, who operate in fear, doubt, um, addiction of some sort, person, place, or thing, or people, places, and things to block this energy right here, money, right? Because with this energy right here, people use it to pay their bills. They could use it to pay their mortgage. They use it to pay their, their rent. They use it to pay their car note, insurance, whatever. They use it to put their kids through school. They use it for a wide range of things, right? But again, some of you all have been sitting in front of this vault so distracted, not even realizing that there's certain energies around you that have attached themselves to you that's causing you to be so distracted, it's causing you to actually lose this energy. Yes, big old hearts, that would be you, loving deep and kind, loving real deep. We also have something that's nostalgic to you. Some of you all may be inheriting your family home. The home that you grew up in, that's what I'm kind of getting from this reading. That's what I'm not kind of getting from this reading. This is what I'm getting from this reading. You may have inherited your family home, right? 
And so don't let the distractions around you. I need you all to really, really stay focused, like really stay focused, Pisces, because it's, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy getting to that. So here we have, we have, like I said, we have six planets that are retrograde right now. Mercury is the one that recently went retrograde. Um, what I'm also getting from somebody is that there's a lot of pain attached to the home that you grew up in, a lot of pain. So for some of you all, you got to see beyond that pain, even if it means, okay, sitting down and seeing a therapist, seeing a psychiatrist, psychologist, or therapist, because on the other side of that, it's going to garner a lot of financial energy for you where you can do other things to help a whole lot of other people. And this is why I need you all to stay focused. Yes, there's a lot of triggers attached to this, you know, a lot of pain. I'm seeing a lot of stuff that's happened, a lot of horrific things that are going through my spirit right now. And then I'm being shown a lot of stuff that has to do with abuse. Some of you all were like horribly abused emotionally, physically, sexually, mentally, just every kind of abuse you could think of. And it's like, okay, let me tell you what's, what's going through my mind. Um, some of you all have really been through hell. I mean, for real, like hell in this realm. Like, I don't even want to be here anymore. That kind of hell, right? Like it can't get no worse. Right. Um, so I'm saying on the other side of all of this, if you can just stay focused, like there's a strength inside of you. It's almost like a double-edged sword. There's a strength inside of you, a resilience inside of you that a lot of people don't know that you even have access to, right? Because they've either seen you in tears or going from zero to a thousand, lunging at people like fighting or whatever. Um, but you're going to have to dig real deep for this, Pisces, like real, real deep. Because on the other side of this, like I said, I see somebody inheriting a house that's going to be a worth a lot of money, a lot of money. Um, and that money, like I said, like now if you don't want it, that's one thing, right? But there's a greater purpose in all of this because the money that you acquire from it is going to be able to help save a lot of people's lives, right? Remember you all are healers by default. So this is going to be right in alignment with what you've been wanting to do since you were a child. Yeah. And it's actually going to help more people than you realize. So, yeah. The number 89. Number 89 is very, very powerful. Like I said, we are less than 10 days away from... Less than 10 days away from uh, the next new moon, next new you, right? 89 is aligned with infinite resources and is comfortable being in the spotlight. 89 is also enjoys international travel and accolades that come with leadership. 89 means that your confidence is merged with wisdom and love, which imbues you with an air of royalty. Wealth is attracted to you and you yearn always, uh, you yearn to leave a legacy behind. It means also that you have a unique perspective on life that you may not always un be understood by other people. So this is not just for my Pisces sun sign. It could be Pisces moon, rising Venus, or wherever it is in your chart, whatever you're willing to step into. Because that's why I tell people, go pull your birth chart. Like, know exactly who you are. Look at your birth chart. Um, but like I said, somebody will be inheriting property that there's a lot of triggers attached to that property. Like, there's so much pain that's attached to it that you almost want to take a torch to it and just burn it down. Like, okay, because in your mind, you think, okay, if I get rid of that that property, I won't feel this pain anymore. I won't have to go do those triggers anymore. But there's a lot on the other side of this. This is where, like I said, it's probably best you find a good therapist and sit down. There's a lot of fear. This is the energy that's attached to the property. There's a lot of fear. There's a lot of doubt. There's a lot of addiction of some sort to person, places, and things, right? And so that's what you've been contaminated with. This may sound like really odd and weird to some people. And I hope it resonates with somebody. You don't have to comment on it because it's that painful for somebody. Um, but I see you like really lasering your focus, like really, really lasering your focus. The person's elbows are up. You can see the bottom of their shoes. They're running towards ancestor. But again, this is where you're going to have to really like tighten your focus almost like somebody is walking a tightrope 
through in a fire pit, right? That you're going to have your focus going to be so, so tight that you're not looking to the left of you or to the right of you. You're not looking down and you're not looking up. You need to keep your balance so that you can just get to the finish line. Cause on the other side of all of that is going to be, um, the reward, the reward for you on the other side of it is so powerful that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it's literally going to blow your mind. It's literally going to blow your mind. Um, the theme of the readings for this week is about love, like self-love, right? So despite where you may have come from, no matter how horrific it was, at some point you had to tap into knowing who you are as a Pisces, right? Or wherever Pisces is in your chart. This chariot card is attached to one of your sister signs, which is, um, which is cancer. And so see the black horse and the white horse. Okay. About balance, right? Balancing out your own energy, your emotions. Cancer's ruling planet is the moon, right? So cancers are considered the money sign for a reason. You can go watch cancer's video because you may have cancer in your chart as well. You also may have Capricorn in your chart, which is these are polarities, by the way, cancer and, and Capricorn are polarity signs. But anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. So you want to go into your spiritual house and tap into every part of you that's going to help get you through this and get you to the next level. Because again, this is about you going to the next level, the new level, right? Because remember the new moon, new level. The ruling planet for cancer is the moon, right? The moon is aligned to our feelings, our emotions, subconscious habits, and, and, um, and our mood, right? So this is where you want to really balance out your energy, right? This is divine feminine energy. Both of this is divine feminine energy. This is your ruling. This is your um, card right here, Neptune. Neptune and Jupiter both are also retrograde right now. I hope I'm not throwing too much at people. Hope you're catching what I'm saying. Here we have the hangman. The thing that you thought was an illusion was not an illusion. The dream that you thought that you was out of reach for you, Pisces, is not out of reach. It's right here. Boom, right in your face. It's a lot closer than you realize it is. Remember I said while I was shuffling the cards, it was always like you were walking a tightrope. Like you were walking a tightrope. You're almost to the end of that tightrope. We're on the other side of this. You know, because you don't look like what you've been through. If you were to really sit down and write a book and tell people everything that you've been through, it still would not really capture you being in that moment. Because now that you feel like you're on the other side, it would almost embarrass too many people around you. If you were to start telling stories of things that happened in your life, you're, there, would be, there would be people who would call you a liar. There would be people who would say, Pisces, that you were crazy. There would be people who would say that didn't really happen. You know, they need their head examined. They need to sit down and talk to a psychiatrist. Maybe they need to be on medication because that's how horrific some of the experiences that you've had in your life have been. Like you've literally your whole life been walking a tightrope, but this was actually preparing you to be on the receiving end of what's behind this vault right here. Okay. We're not talking about just paper money. We're talking about the energy, the wealth energy. So it's attached to, um, wealth and, and health, right? It's attached in wealth and prosperity. It's attached to wealth and happiness. It's attached to wealth and joy. You, you get what I'm saying? Pisces. Good. And this is about loving yourselves. You know, um, we talk about loving yourselves deeper and harder, right? So you define a definition of love on that frequency, right? You, we know that in scripture, it tells us that love is patient, love is kind. It doesn't envy, it doesn't boast, it's not proud. It doesn't dishonor other, it's not self-seeking, it's not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love doesn't delight in evil, but it rejoices in the truth, right? With the truth, it... It always protects, it always trusts, it always hopes, it always perseveres. You've been through so much stuff, Pisces, that you could not be arrogant even if you wanted to, even if you pretended to be arrogant, because boom, the reality of the things that you've gone through in your life have been so humbling. You're already humble by default. 
Like, I, that's why I don't talk about humility on my channel because we're already humble. The universe keeps everything balanced out anyway. Even when I see a person who seems to be proud, I'm like, hey, this person has finally figured out, like, listen, they've been so humbled in their lives behind closed doors, sometimes publicly have been so humiliated, you know, that it's about time they woke up to themselves. Yep. Right. That's what I'm seeing for you, Pisces. That is what I'm seeing for you. Yes. I'm seeing somebody opening up that vault. Wealth is health. Health is wealth. Joy is wealth. Happiness is wealth. Peace is wealth. You're opening, you're awakening, you're opening up this energy that you've always craved that this this is what's behind that vault door the thing that you've always craved is behind that vault door i just need you all to stay focused focus focus laser focus keep your eyes on the thing you've always wanted here we have pleasure right even though we talk about the number 89 40, four is about stability. This is about connecting with the earth, right? Stable, being very logical in your thought process. Zero is the God number, right? This is when you know that you are a God. It's no question about it, Pisces. We're not, saying much, we're not saying you're somebody else's God and you're somebody else's savior. Don't get it twisted. You are a creator. You create the life that you want. That's, what's lie behind, that's what lies behind this. It's going to feel pleasurable, like, oh my God, I feel like I'm just like in euphoria <laughs> at this point. But again, the end result for a lot of you all, and it can happen sooner than later, depending on whether you want to repeat a cycle or not. I know some people have been through some really horrific um, experiences in their lives, and maybe you, it's just going to take some more time. I don't want you to... Um, I don't want you to be hard on yourselves, Pisces. As a matter of fact, I want you to start being even more gentle with yourself. This is where love, loving yourselves deeper and harder is going to really come into play. Um, and having that laser focus where you are removing every distraction from your life. And I mean, every distraction. Do what you need to do to get to this place this wealthy place, right? We're not talking about just currency. We're not talking about cryptocurrency. We're not talking about dollar bills. We're not talking, that, that's going to come too. But we're talking about the health being wealth. We're talking about um, wealth when it comes to your joy. Well, all the things that I just named, but that is what I have for you, Pisces. Have a fantastic day. I know that you will because that is the intention you set. Bye.